So now we talk about how to find logarithms um, of any base. Right? For example, we know, we know, say, that the log base 3 of 9, we know that's equal to 2, because 3 squared equals 9. That's just by the definition. But what about, say, the log base 5 of 8? But 5 raised to what exponent gives you 8? Well, we're going to use what's called the change of base formula. And what that allows us to do is to change from base 5, for this particular example, but in general, to change from any base to any other base. And the bases we'll typically change to are going to be 10 or e. And the reason why? So we can use our calculator. That's it. But you really can change to any, any base. All right, so here's the formula. All right. Let a be greater than 0, b be greater than 0, x be greater than 0, uh, but we also want to make sure a is not 1 and b is not 1. Then, the log base a of x is equal to log base b, this would be our new base, of x. So we're taking the logarithm of the same argument that we were to begin with, just with a new base. And all of that is divided by a logarithm base b, again, of your new base and taking the logarithm of your old base. So the way to think about this is we're changing from base A to base B, right? And the numerator is going to be the logarithm of the argument, same argument that you had uh, previously, and the denominator is going to be the logarithm of the old base. All right, so here's the proof of that, just so you can see that we're not making this up. All right, so let uh, you be equal to log base a of x. All right, so you start with some logarithm. Now that implies that a to the u is equal to x, just by the definition of a logarithm, right? a raised to this exponent is equal to your argument. So we know that's true. So now we can use that other property that says that uh, if a to the u is equal to x, then the log base b of a to the u is equal to the log base b of x. Remember that property? It said if two things were equal here, then the log of um, both, you can essentially take the logarithm of both sides. Okay. So if this is true, then this line has to be true because you've got the same base down here. And then we've got that power rule property that says, okay, you can bring the u down in front. So we have u times the log base b of a equals log base b of x. Everybody with me? All right. And so now if we isolate u, you get u to be the log base b of x divided by the log base b of a. And what was u? Well, u, we said, was log base a of x. So log base a of x is equal to log base b of x divided by log base b of a. And we have proven that this line has to be true. Okay, So to change from one base to a new base, we're going to have this division going on over here. So let's see an example. Okay, Let's go back to the log base 5 of 8. Now, the good news is you can change to any base that you want, but I'm encouraging to change to base 10 or base E. So if we change to base 10, then we would have log of 8, common log of 8, divided by the common log of 5. All right? Now do that division in your calculator and you'll come up with a decimal number. Okay, what's that decimal number? 1.2 nine two zero three. I rounded it off. Okay. It does continue on there forever. All right, so that's the number on your calculator. <coughs> now, what does that number mean? I mean, whoop de doo we've got this on our calculator if we don't know what it means. All right, that's right. It means if you take five and raise it to this exponent, 1.29203, you you're going to get about 8. And I said about 8 because we had to round it. Okay, if we, didn't, if we did not have to round it, then you would get exactly 8. All right. 
So that's what you're trying to find, the exponent that goes on the 5 that gives you the 8. And here we change to common logs, but we could have just as easily said, all right, let's change to natural logs. And did the natural log of 8 divided by the natural log of 5. And we better get the same number. Does everybody understand why? That's right, because still, this is the exponent that has to go on 5 to give you 8. So it doesn't matter if you change to common logs or if you change to natural logs. Right? That's the good news. There's not just one way to do it. Choose one of them and go. All right, so what about this last one? Do this last one real quick. So you get the log of 421 over the natural log of 17, which goes to... 2.1328, and we get something like that. All right, and again, what does that number represent? The number that we have to raise 17 to. So 17 raised to 2.1328 gives us about 421. Okay, that's it. Study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.